Right, in this video here I'm going to be showing how I um, turned down this um, block here. This is a base plate uh, for my tool post on the MyFed ML7 and I'm going to be using my Chinese mini lathe to turn down this tool steel block so that it fits into the underside of the base plate. And this is um, tool steel so it's quite hard. I thought it would be a great opportunity to actually test out these um, DCMT 070204 inserts, the blue nano type on intermittent cutting. And I have done tests before on these blue nano inserts on hard material like stainless steel and tall steel, but I've never done um, intermittent cutting on them or using them. So this will be uh, very interesting to see how they perform. So now I'll go out into the workshop and show you the turning. So this is the setup. I've chosen a piece of um, an off cut of a nylon here, which will actually go over the um, spindle part there. And the diameter of the nylon off cut is a little bit bigger than the actual um, diameter that I'm going to be turning the square to. So I know that I can actually turn down to this diameter here first without having to use a micrometer. So put that one on the spindle there and tighten it up in the chuck. So the spacer is sandwiched between the block and the jaws and it also keeps the um, piece that I'm going to be turning away from the jaws so I can actually turn right the way across without the turning tool hitting the jaws. And I know that when I turn down to the nylon diameter I'm still plus in size um, to be able to turn it down further using a micrometer to get the diameter dead right. Now the mini lathe has got very limited travel on the cross slide here. So I've had to put the tool right back in the tool holder. Plus I've had to put the um, tool posts around a bit so that I have enough clearance to actually turn this diameter. And the angles on this DCMT 07024 insert tool are perfect for this. Um, they are such an angle that you can actually kick the tool post round like this and it will still cut perfectly. They're great tools to have and now we'll see how it gets on in this intermittent cutting work. So to start with I'm only going to be using a slow spindle speed of around um, 200 and I'm going to be using the um, uh, power feed. It's much safer to use the power feed on um, this type of work as long as it's very slow. So the spindle speed is around 260, something like that. So I bring the tool in manually to touch on. I know that I'm clearing the um, corners at the moment. Just bring it in slowly and touch on that, like that. and then use the power fade.
And that's the job finished. So that's the finish of the test and the job done. It's a nice interference fit, just what I wanted. So it's excellent. And I've proved these blue nano inserts. Overall, I used one edge completely and turned it around to the other edge, which I'm still using. So they're really hard inserts for um, stainless steel and all other hard materials. Plus they're excellent for this intermittent cutting and I'll put a link below for these inserts.